What's going on guys? So I'm at the 2024 Houston RV show and I am at the Ron Hoover section and we're going to take a look at this Riverstone Legacy fifth wheel slash toy hauler. There's a lot going on here. I'm going to try to make it through this video relatively quickly but basically what I want to do is I want to show you why Riverstone is one of my favorite manufacturers when it comes to luxury fifth wheels. Hang tight. I'll be right back. Okay, so right off the bat, one of the things that you probably have caught if you've been watching my channel for a while is every time I, I have an opportunity to film a new Riverstone, I try to because there's a lot of things to really like about them. From the frame structure, they have an entirely different type of frame than your traditional fifth wheel. Not only do they use a large 10-inch I-beam drop section right here, but they also structurally frame the whole thing in with steel to make this area incredibly rigid, very strong, and capable of handling a lot of weight. Okay, so where most fifth wheels are going to have this upper deck area, that's steel, and then it transitions down right here, and then across to the main I-beam, and anytime you see aluminum right here, that's added on by the manufacturer of the RV, not the frame manufacturer, and they do that to support whatever they put in this area, whether it's a bathroom, whether it's a living room, or whatever they put above that area, that's why they put that there. What Riverstone does different is the fact that this is all steel, but then it extends back this way and goes down. So this entire area is boxed and caged in steel, and it just makes for a very, very strong platform on top of the fact that it's mounted to an I-beam structure down here as well. So again, very structural frame. I don't know if I've ever heard of a frame failure on a Riverstone. Now, if you guys have found one or seen one, you can share it, but I don't think I've ever seen a frame that's failed on a Riverstone, at least one that people have talked about. So I, I really believe in the product and I like the product a lot, even though I don't have any type of a relationship with Riverstone, never have. Um, the fact is, I just think they build a really good product. They do a lot of cool things like a water manifold system. Most manufacturers don't do that. They do three inch thick sidewalls. Most manufacturers don't do that. They do a lot of really, really great things that make their units stand out. Now they don't bring the, the actual stripes of the RV through the sidewalls, but these are painted, but everything else is full body paint. And it's an absolutely beautiful full body paint job. Another thing before we step inside that they do is they utilize the Road Armor suspension from LCI. Now this is one of the optional suspensions that you get. This is more of the base level suspension that you can get on a Riverstone, but it just goes to show you that it's a pretty dang good suspension setup considering they use it on Riverstone. But you can also get these with independent suspension and you can get them with disc brakes. Now this specific one actually has disc brakes on it. Yep, so this unit does have disc brakes on it, but it has the more standard Road Armor suspension from Lippert, and it has the heavy-duty shackle straps and greasable wet bolts. You can also see that it has really nice tires, Goodyear G114 tires. These are the super expensive Goodyear tires. They don't put endurance mainly because of the weight of these things, and they don't put other brands like Cooper or other brands that are considered to kind of be a little less expensive high-end tire. These are actually expensive high-end tires, and the G114 is a great quality tire, and that's what you're gonna see on a Riverstone. So again, you can see the drop frame section up front there. You can also see the main frame section right here, which is a 12 inch I-beam. And there's a lot of support here, including a much heavier duty rack and pinion slide out system. And again, the three inch thick sidewalls, which really, really make this thing a great all season, full time rated RV. But before we go inside, let's show you some of the storage that you get with these river stones. You get these massive pass through storage bays on this model. You have a TV underneath here, which is really nice. Really, really thick, heavy duty baggage doors all around. More storage back here, but this is a smaller storage area for sure. It'd be cool actually if they made this so it can sit upright like that, maybe turn into kind of a bit of a desk. That would actually be really cool. LED lighting looks absolutely beautiful. You probably saw the motion lighting turn on inside of the mini garage bay. This is one of their most popular floor plans because it's a mix of a toy hauler and a traditional fifth wheel. Without having to sacrifice the living room and kitchen space, you typically have to sacrifice in most toy haulers. Now, this isn't gonna be wide enough for some things. It will fit your traditional motorcycle, maybe a golf cart, but it's not gonna fit extra wide toys. And you also have to be careful how tall those toys are if you wanna store them in here whenever you're in the RV using the bedroom. Because this section right here actually raises up and lowers down. And it lowers down to about the point of where that fire extinguisher is. So you have some height now and it can 
go up a little bit more than it currently is. So your taller toys definitely wouldn't be able to fit. When it's raised up, that's really where you can fit larger things. And the whole point is that when you get to where you're going, you take those toys out and you park them outside and then you lower the bed. For me, this would be a great spot for mountain bikes, for the kids' toys, things like that, because they're not super tall, but it also gives me the ability to protect them and keep them out of the elements when we're not using them. And I think that's important. Full walk on roof, you have your camera system up top, nice LED lighting as well, so you can illuminate this whole area. And this is not a deck, so you can't use this as a deck area like you typically could on other styles of toy haulers but let's uh let's hop inside this unit and see what it's all about all right and this is going to be the 42 fskg again one of their most popular floor plans i guess i should have gone over the weight of this thing so the dry weight on this unit is going to be 18,074 pounds the cargo capacity on this unit is going to be 2,850 pounds it's 44 feet 10 inches long and it rides on H-rated tires. This is a beast. So you're definitely gonna wanna tow this behind a heavy duty dually truck with a lot of payload capacity. So we're gonna take a look around here and you're gonna see that they've divided the spaces up really nicely. Stepping up into the kitchen, this is a gourmet kitchen. This is absolutely beautiful. They've just done a phenomenal job here. They've put the four burner insignia stove in the middle of the island with plenty of room around it Check this out. They've put a restaurant style vent hood above it, which is really cool. You got a good size oven underneath it. They haven't switched to that lower cost three burner Furion stove that you see in a lot of RVs now. They still keep the nicer one. Check out the sink area. This is absolutely amazing. You got your two cutting boards up top. Tons of space around here. Sorry if you hear a beeping noise. I think it's coming from the dishwasher right here. Maybe it's coming from the freezer. Yeah, I think it's coming from the freezer because it's not completely closed. All right, so over here you have your 30 amp solar charge controller. Lots of countertop space, lots of cabinet space, magnetic holds, soft closing everything. They do a really, really good job in here. Again, you have your dishwasher down here, which is actually really nice. Cabinets, drawers everywhere. These are all soft closing and then they put soft closing drawers inside of the cabinets very nice that is real tile backsplash nice real solid surface material over here you're going to have a i believe it's a convection yep convection microwave i love the fact that they don't have those real gaudy big valances on here as well and you have day night roller shades also i love the contrasting tone up top check this out so if i step down you'll see that it has really nice wood accents for the ceiling just looks nice and the crown molding is beautiful plus you have this great spot up here that you can put seats so the kiddos can do their homework and watch tv at the same time if they can multitask coming down here you have your electric heating reclining vibrating massaging seats that's really nice you have your love seat that can turn into a bed which is also very nice but then on this side, you have this huge desk. I love this. I think this has been needed forever in these RVs that you might live in and you might work in and you want that space. Look at this, the price. $203,507 is MSRP. Sale price on this is gonna be significantly less. They don't have it posted yet, but I guarantee you it's gonna be a lot less than that. A uh, lot of really great features on these things. Again, full body paint. I don't know if they talk about the solar option that's on here, but I'm sure it does have a solar option. I think it's gonna be right here. All right, so this is gonna have a 5,500 watt Onan generator. It's gonna have the Trail Air 21K fifth wheel hitch, the Goodyear 17 and a half inch H rated tires, four camera system with seven inch monitor. That's really nice. Two 190 watt or two additional 190 watt solar panels. This one does not have the Moride independent system on it, for sure. 50-inch outside TV. Let's see, what else? Sorry about that beeping, guys. Huge TV on the wall. Nice sound bar beneath it. And that is a Samsung TV as well, which is really nice. Nice wide-view panoramic fireplace with a beautiful surround. Love the tones inside of here. I mean, this just looks absolutely amazing. All right, let's work our way over here. Now, real quick, they put drawers that are soft closing underneath the stairs, or at least that stair. Stepping up, I love how solid these units feel. Okay, let's take a look at the bathroom. 
Love the sink area. Love the illuminated mirror. Beautiful shower. Porcelain foot flush toilet. Nice seat inside of here. That is all real stone material. The floor, the floor of the shower with the drain is absolutely beautiful. This is screaming for a multi-sprayer head shower system. A lot of storage in there. It's a lot deeper than I thought it would be. Good spot for toiletries. Nice toilet paper holder already in place. And then again, your porcelain elongated bowl foot flush toilet. All right, stepping into the bedroom. Okay, so the bed is not fully down. It is about, I'm gonna say about six inches from being fully down, which would bring the bed down to a manageable height to get on board, but this is what it looks like. Your garage is underneath you, and this is what the bedroom looks like. Really, really nice. Queen size bed, because you can't fit a king size in here because of how it's oriented. You have another slide out over here on the side, and this is gonna be a wardrobe slide out with your Dyson vacuum already in place. All your cabinets around. This is gonna have three whisper quiet air conditioning units. And then you have a spot over here for your washer and dryer, which are already in place from Splendid. Your TV is over here. And you got more storage underneath, lots of storage. Very cool. What do you guys think? This is a super cool, super huge fifth wheel. And there's a lot of reasons to like it, especially if you have toys that you need to typically put in a toy hauler. As long as they're not too big for this toy hauler, this is a really cool floor plan because it gives you a totally legitimate living room, office space, kitchen, master bedroom, and a beautiful bathroom. But I'd love to know what your feedback and opinion is. Please leave it below. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.